I believe that, that we need to function as more as a community as opposed to um, a boxing match. Calling for communities to come together, Liberty Union candidate Murray Goima wants to move Vermont away from competition and capitalism. I would posit that we are actually have entered the apocalypse um, in terms of both what's going on in environmentally and what's going on politically in, and socially in this country. The South Palm Fret resident is running to be the state's next lieutenant governor. It would bring a quite different perspective on many of the issues that that pertain in the state of Vermont. This art teacher works with seniors and adults with special needs in the Green Mountain State and in neighboring New Hampshire. Guayma is against war and opposed to the F-35 fighter jets coming to the Air National Guard base in South Burlington. And waterways, like Lake Champlain, she says they need to be cleaned up without using harsh chemicals. The first thing is to understand exactly why the lake is, is polluted. And by that I mean to understand how the earth is responding, the, the ecosystem is responding to human activity along the lake. Instead of consolidating small schools, Goima says she'd push for education buildings to serve as community-supported agriculture spaces, or CSAs. They can produce food for the community, schools can have root cellars, and the people from the community who, who can operate this CSA can involve students in that work and educate. There's so many things that can be learned um, pertaining to all of the subject areas through the production of food in a garden. She says socialism would bring a more equal and peaceful future for Vermonters. We debate over how much the minimum wage should be. Um, Liberty Union is advocating for a universal basic income. It's all part of the Liberty Union's party platform, something she's been a part of for decades. I was a member of Liberty Union in 1970 when I was too young to vote. As Lieutenant Governor Goima says she'd work to get young people today involved in the political process. One thing I would advocate for in terms of pr increasing participation in the political process is lowering the voting age to 16. If, if voters, if people become voters in high school, they will always be voters. In Montpelier, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.